Hey, it's Danielle, and I am back with my week 19 of Project Life. Now, um, it, it looks like I'm just sort of in the middle of, the, of things here, and it's because on the left-hand side of my spread, I'm doing a six by eight layout, and my original background paper was crooked. It was off, and I didn't realize it till I started putting the layout together, and things weren't lining up very good. So I've cut a new piece of six by eight paper, and I'm just putting this layout together again. And as you can see, it's super simple, so that wasn't too hard to do. I just took this photo of me and my husband. We were um, waiting for breakfast. Um, we were waiting for my little brother and his wife to get there. And I just, I printed that out as a square photo and then I put a really thick mat around it using some Felicity Jane paper. And then I used two printable Studio Calico tags to tuck in underneath my mat. And then I did some quick journaling on that. I think I said Sunday breakfast with my fella. I, th I think I said that. It looks like it. All right. So on the right hand side of my spread, I'm going to be using a page protector that has four three by four pockets in it. And I printed out these three photos here. And when I cut them out, I cut them just a little bit smaller than three by four so that I can mount them on some white cardstock and that um, then they would have that white border around all of the photos. And that photo of me in the lower right hand corner, I'm it it's a little embarrassing, I think, but I had to put it in because I was learning my daughter's dance routine for dance so that I could help her learn it, uh, the recitals coming up. And I um, typed on that photo before printing it out and just kind of explained that um, that's kind of our life right now is learning this dance. And then in the lower left-hand corner, you see that I just put some pattern paper with a camera die cut, and that's my current plan, though you'll see here that that changes up quite a bit. Now on that photo of my daughter looking at the computer, I want to put a label on there. I want to journal about that photo in, in some way, and I think the best way to do it is a label. And so I find one that will work on this photo. This is just a picture of my daughter watching some YouTube channel. She she kind of discovered YouTube. Um, we, have for a long time, have watched YouTube channels together, and we kind of have our favorites that we watch together, but she learned how to use YouTube and um, how to go to different videos. And she thinks that's a lot of fun, though I have to keep a close eye on her because we all know that YouTube um, sometimes isn't that kid friendly. So I have to keep a close eye on her, but she loves it. And so I put this this orange label on there and my journaling was kind of squished and I didn't like it and I knew it would bug me. So I get a bigger label and I tried out in a couple spots here because it just doesn't feel right. No matter where I put it, it just doesn't feel right. But I go ahead and just stick it down where I had the previous label, largely in part that the tape from the previous label was stuck to that photo. But um, then I have much more room to journal on. And so I get that taken care of and in place. And then I focus my intention on that pattern paper card. And so I don't really like the look of that that die cut just kind of floating on that card. And so I thought, well, I'll put it on some white cardstock and then um, layer that behind the camera and then down on the on the card. And I think that I like that, but it still just doesn't feel right. And so I was thinking maybe it was the size of the white piece of cardstock. So I changed that up quite a bit, but um, it still just doesn't feel right. So my idea was that I would take a stamp sentiment and stamp on that camera itself. But when I got looking at my stamps, I decided, well, I don't like the label journaling on that photo, so maybe I will just journal on this card instead. So you can see that computer photo no longer has that label on it, and I'm just trying to figure out what size I want to journal on. Uh, I did pick out a stamp from an Allie Edwards story kit that I, I think it says little moments or little memories, but it's kind of long, and so I needed a longer space to stamp that. And so what I thought I would do is I would trim this paper at three inches wide to give me the space to stamp, and then there would be that um, strip of pattern paper above that. Uh, I didn't totally love that, so I moved it on its side here, and that you know created a different look for that card. And so I mess with that a bit and I decide that that will work. And then I could maybe find an embellishment to stick up above that large opening of pattern paper above my journaling and my stamp barely fits. And so I call that good and I just get it stamped and then I draw some lines, lines on that. But 
I even decide that I don't totally love it still. So I go back to my original, this little strip of paper. That's what I like. I like the, I like it centered on that card and I like a lot of that pattern paper showing. And so uh, for my stamp, you can see I just stamped up the word little first and then um, stamped that and then inked up the memories and that worked out just great. So now I'm going to um, just draw my lines on this card and write my little bit of journaling here. And then I had more room to sort of tell that story. So it worked out for the better anyway. And I, I like the look of this better than the camera there anyway. So through all of that inking fiasco, I got ink on my layout here. So I had to flip the layout over and redo it again. And um, so, yeah, I think that's the third time right that I've redone that layout so it's it's good that it was super easy to tear apart and put back on another layout but uh, so once I have my spread done I start working on my insert and I'm using this large tag that I'm pretty sure I got from AllieEdwards.com. on the front side of this tag I'm going to be stamping out the date and so I get my one little bird stamp by Studio Calico out and um, this is what I use on most weeks throughout my project life this year and I decide that I want to add a little bit of interest to this part of the insert. So um, I'm actually stamping the dates on a smaller piece of white cardstock and then I'll layer that on the bigger one and I will put some stitching on that as well. Now, I don't have a process video for my week 18 um, and mostly it's because I got sick and I just completed that week I didn't worry about filming it or editing or I I was I was really sick and so um you will see it at the end of this layout though or at the end of this video when I put all of these cards into the album so um, you'll get a glance of it it's just of my my brother graduated that week from college and it was it's just basically focusing on that one event and it's super simple but like i said you'll see that here at the end of the video but i get my date stamped on there and in place and then i just uh, tape this down to my card and i really like the way that looks and then i get it put on my tag here and i i like it even more so on the back of this tag I just highlight kind of a more exciting event this week um, my husband and my little brother and his wife and I went to a Penn and Teller show and so we got photos with Penn and Teller after the show and so I definitely wanted to scrapbook those so I just printed them out in the right size so that it would fit perfectly on this tag and then I take another studio calico label and I just write on it Penn and Teller and it looks like I said so fun and I just get that at the top of those photos super simple and easy so I've taken all these cards over to my computer or to my sewing machine and I've stitched on them uh, you'll see here that I made a page protector page protector fit this tag I could have punched holes in it but I didn't really want to do that and it worked out good Here's where you'll see my week 18. Like I said, super simple and totally just focuses on my brother's graduation. Uh, but I just got to get these cards and layouts slipped into my album and I'm good to go. So I just wanted to thank you guys so much for watching. And I also wanted to let you know that I also have week 20 of my project life over on the Crafty Maven Getaway channel. And I will link to that down below if you wanted to go over and check that out. But we will talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.